Hi, it's me, Gorgeous Disgrace, and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a highlight and contour tutorial. An updated one from the one I did. I don't remember how long ago it was that I did that, but I will leave it in the description below so you can see that video of how I contoured and highlighted. And before we get into the main portion of this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And now, let's get into the main portion of the video. So what I start out with is my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Color Corrector, which balances the skin tone. I'm going to take this mirror, I'm going to use this brush, and I ran out of product. So that's why it's cut like this. So I always start it right under the eye, because that's where a lot of my problem skin is. Making sure to pat it into the skin as you go along. Because this makes your skin feel, well it makes my skin feel very soft after I'm done. Three, two, one. Okay, and now because I realized we didn't have light, there's some light on now. So, yes, me and my crew, which is my sister who films all the videos, give my sister a round of applause because she works really hard to film these, which is awesome. I may be the talent, but I also edit. So, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of videos out for you which I'm happy about. It may not be buffed into the skin completely, but that's fine. We're going to powder this all when we're done. So next I take this brush and this concealer palette by Amar. I don't know, it says Amar on the back. And I go into this orange right here and I put that over the bottom half of my lower face just to cancel out the blue tones. So I just take it like this, like this, and just buffing it as well with the color correcting primer we just put on. Yes, I know, it takes a while before we get, I'm sorry, it takes a while before I get into the actual contouring and the highlighting. My primer step and my pre-makeup step, my pre-putting the foundation steps, it's a lot of steps. Well, I know, I'm going to look crazy for a little bit, because I'm going to have this orange beard going on. And then next I go into this yellowish toned color. This is all creams. Oh, whoops. Oh crap, I just got it all over my fingers. And I kind of just put that around my brows because I'm going to be covering this up anyway like I just blend it into my skin and then I kind of use it as a primer too on the eyes I'm probably literally covering up all my work was I actually and I in my first makeup to in my first contour and highlight tutorial I think I just filmed like right over here and sat on the ground and used a blanket as my background. Then next I take this other orange-ish color. Record. So I kind of just continued on because we had some technical difficulties, so I just continued blending. Conceal the palette by Amar. Almar. I don't know, crap. Oh, this part broke. Well. So next I'm taking the Rumio palette. I'm going to take this color right here, and I'm going to use it to powder on my face. Okay, I need to grab another thing of powder from my face. So next powder that I also use is this one by SST Cosmetics. It's in the color 3, or shade 3. Pick it on your brush and just pat it on because this one actually fits my skin tone very well. And plus, when we lay down the foundation, everything will look beautiful. And don't forget to tell your friends to watch Gorgeous Disgrace, because I got a lot of content. 
A lot of people will just make other channels. And I'm just like, I like my content. I like my channel. And I need to keep all my content on one channel because, like, controlling, having a lot of channels, I find difficult. Oh crap, it's in my eyebrows. Okay, so there we go. We have the base to the base done. So, I was just getting my foundation ready. This one's very full coverage. It's like a pancake makeup, which is really good. I love it. I love full coverage stuff. But I also like, like, I also like medium coverage stuff. I don't know why. Just going to do this all around the beard section of my face. I should get out of the way where the light is. And buffing it in as I go along. And my nose is itchy. That's fun. I hate it when my nose gets itchy while I'm doing makeup. So, let's see. Conversation things. My week. Let's see. Yesterday I uploaded two videos. This video will be going up Thursday. Or Friday. And then I'm going to start filming on some of the optional tombs for Tomb Raider. Because I'm not ready for... Because last night, right after I posted the new part, I went and filmed it. And I didn't realize I was at the ending. And I'm like, I think there's going to be 15 parts. And as I was, like, watching it back, I was like, no, there's going to be, like, 10 or 12. Because, like, I'm... Because I'm just doing the story. I'm not really doing any of the side stuff. What was that loud bang just now? I just poked myself in the eye. So there's that step in my foundation. And then I always go into the oil-free weightless foundation as well. Take it on the back of my hand. And go to town. Just for some more added coverage. Mostly because I just, I love having a full coverage base and face. I love something about coverage. So I uploaded two videos yesterday as I was saying. Um, the haul video and the new Tomb Raider video. Which, thank you if you've watched it because that makes me so happy. Knowing that people are watching and enjoying my videos makes me very happy. And being able to film stuff like makeup tutorials and hauls with an actual camera and having my little sister help, which is also amazing. Next, for my under eyes and highlight portions, I take the oil-free weightless foundation in the shade 2 by SST Cosmetics. Oh shit, I just dropped a portion of it on me and I think I packed way too much on the brush. So I just use this to lighten those portions of my face. Look at this giant glob. Come on, glob. Shit, I don't think I can blend this in. Okay, we can take it down in my neck at least. Blend down the neck. Because I am giving serious cake face. I didn't put any foundation on the eyes, so we can totally do that. I put way too much on because look at this like I look terrible like like with contouring I should be able to fix this but it's in my eyebrows this went from being a great video to not being a good video okay there we go you know what I'm going to fix this. I'm going to take this powder brush. Um, crap, it's all over my pants. And I'm going to just smooth it into my skin. Okay, I saved it. And there's hair all over my face from the brush. Just remember. Sometimes, as much as I say, put more on. If you make a mistake, sometimes you have to blend it out. I'm going back to the Rumeo. 
And I'm going in this lightish color here. It's what I start my contours with. And then I'll start on my I'll start on my cheekbones. Oh, and every and this brush is by SST Cosmetics. It's called Blusher Brush. But I use it to contour. And just doing the traditional Kim Kardashian way in the three. So I just take it right on my cheekbone, right on my jaw, just to add emphasis. And I just got it too. And then always contour your nose. Sometimes I forget it too. So. Next I take this other flat brush and I go into this powder. So next I take that light powder I was just showing you and I put it right under my eyes. And right under where I contour. And I'm going to put it over where I put the foundation on my brows and I'm going to put it right over my eyes. I'm just going in with to my contours again. I'm just going into my eyes, just so my eyes have some definition as well. Yeah. Next, I'm going to take this highlighter, which I made up of a bunch of old eyeshadows that I didn't use. And they were all shimmers, so I thought, hey, why not use it? Oh, it's coming out. So I'm gonna highlight there, bridging my nose, my lip, my chin, and my cheek. So, because my camera, the camera, stopped working, it died. So we just jumped onto my phone to film the last couple of scenes. So, I was going on about highlighter. I look good like creating. Take this fluffy brush, I'm going to go into this color. Going to just take it all over the eye. And then I'm going to go into the darker. I just dropped my mirror on my. Go into this darker brown. Well, that's a lot. And just take it all over the eye and my crease bone. Just, if you're going to contour and highlight your whole face, you might as well do your eyes, or else your eyes will look really flat. So just this little soft brown look. Just to contour the eyes, just to give them some life so they don't look so flat compared to your whole contoured face. This cheekbone is more defined than this. You never told me. Okay, there we go. Now I got a cheekbone over here and over here. There we go. This is how you contour and highlight the gorgeous disgrace way. So thanks for coming to my contour and highlight video, the updated 2017 edition. And for my lipstick, I'll be using the Velvet Matte Cream Lipstick by Victoria's Secret. As you can see, I have it on. Oh. So thank you for coming to my highlight and contour video. I hope you enjoy all my other content that I have for you exclusively on the Gorgeous Disgrace channel. And I will see you next time. Bye!